Thank you for watching the demo video on Greg Morris's Japanese candle pattern recognition. This demonstration is designed to instruct you on using Metastock and the accompanying software plugins and is not a recommendation to buy or sell but rather guidelines to interpreting and using specific indicators and features within the software. The information, software, and techniques presented today should only be used by investors who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Thomson Reuters shall have no liability for any investment decisions based on the use of the software, any trading strategies, or any information provided in connection with the company. We're going to start with an introduction to candle pattern recognition. Candle pattern recognition is a concept that's used automatically in JCPR. It's a very, very simple concept. If we combined all the days of a pattern into a single candlestick pattern, would the interpretation of that single candlestick support the pattern? Let me show you what I mean. On the screen I've placed an evening star pattern. This is typically a bearish reversal pattern. If I took the open, the high, the low, and the close of this three bar pattern and condense that into a single candlestick, I would have a shooting star pattern. Both of these are bearish patterns. The fact that these are both bearish patterns means they're fully supportive of one another. This adds to the quality of the pattern that you've got. This is a concept that is used automatically in the JCPR scoring, and a lot of the patterns have breakdowns that are not supportive. I'd like to talk about a few of the other components that are included automatically in the new scoring system that was designed for the JCPR add-on. On this screen, I've included a snapshot or an excerpt from candlestick charting explained by Greg Morris. You'll notice that in this table, it includes pattern statistics from 7,275 common stocks with research that was conducted over 14.6 million days of data. All of these statistics uh, are included in the JCPR scoring system. I want to kind of give you an idea of how that works. Here we've got the pattern name, MTL plus. The plus indicates that this is a bullish pattern. A minus would be indicative of a bearish pattern. Under type, I've got R plus. R stands for reversal. Plus stands for bullish. That would make this a bullish reversal pattern. Trend requirement. This would indicate that a tr specific trend is required. In other words, if we're looking at a bullish pattern, we'd want to look at a bullish trend. In this particular case, a bullish trend would be required to take advantage of this bullish pattern. Confirmation indicates that we would want a technical confirmation of that particular pattern. In this case, no confirmation is required. Frequency. Based on the research conducted, this pattern happens every 590 bars. That would be considered a frequent pattern. The pattern frequency is going to range from very frequent to extremely rare. Underneath, we've got the statistics for a seven-day hold time. So in other words, if we bought the pattern we held for one bar, two bars, three bars, four bars, all the way up to seven bars. It covers the percent winners, the average percent gain, percent losers, average percent loss, and the net profit versus the net loss. A good candle pattern will have positive net profit loss over many trade values and many time frames. Better patterns will have similar or smaller average loss values as candlestick patterns are not perfect. All of these statistics are automatically incorporated into the JCPR scoring system. In addition to the statistics, JCPR uses price-based support and resistance in its calculations. Candle patterns that occur near support and resistance generally work better. JCPR includes an indicator for support and resistance calculations. This can be plotted 
and used with your own analysis, but it's automatically incorporated into the JCPR scoring system. Another technique that we use for the JCPR scoring system is called candle pattern fil filtering. This was developed by Greg Morris in the early 1990s and uses stochastic D. We look for bearish reversal patterns only when percent D is above 80, and we look for bullish reversal patterns only when percent D is below 20. This is a filtering method that we use automatically and is automatically incorporated into, into the JCPR scoring system. Now that we've covered the scoring system, let me talk a little bit about what's included in the JCPR add-on. The J JCPR add-on includes three new indicators that are very, very specific to this add-on. They include the JCPR candle trend, JCPR support and resistance, and the JCPR filtering binary. Explorations that are included include the reversal pattern, the reversal pattern confirmed, the filtered reversal pattern, and the filtered reversal pattern confirmed. The JCPR also comes with one expert advisor called Japanese Candle Pattern Recognition, and two templates, JCPR Clean Charts, JCPR Filtering Indicators. Now let's talk about the indicators included in JCPR. As we said before, we include uh, in the JCPR add-on, we include three new indicators that you can use with your own analysis, but they're incorporated automatically into the analysis that we do on the candle patterns for you. I want to start with the candle trend indicator. This is a new method developed by Greg Morris of identifying short-term trends. Again, we use it automatically in the JCPR but you can also use it with your own analysis techniques and it's a very simple indicator to read. It adapts to the true ranges of prices as they expand or contract. I've plotted the JCPR candle trend indicator on this chart. You'll notice that the red dotted line is the JCPR candle trend and that this indicator is either going to appear above the price activity or below the price activity. The way that we read this indicator is just as simple. What we're going to do is we're going to look and if the price activity is above the JCPR candle trend, then we're going to say that our trend is bullish. If the price activity is below our JCPR candle trend, then we're going to say that the current trend of the market or the stock that we're looking at is bearish. JCPR also uses support and resistance as a way of identifying candle patterns and is incorporated automatically into the scoring techniques of the add-on. In addition, we've included a support and resistance indicator so you can see these values on your chart. When you apply the indicator to the, your chart, it's going to automatically draw the support and resistance levels. The default value that we use for a look-back period is 126 bars and you can change that. Depending on your look back period, your support and resistance may change, but it does not necessarily mean that it will change. Here's a demonstration or a, a visual demonstration of how the JCPR support and resistance is going to look on a chart. In addition, the JCPR uses an indicator called the JCPR filtering binary indicator. This is actually a combination of three indicators. It uses percent D, 9 day, percent D, 14 day, and directional movement. Each indicator for the calculation is weighted. Uh, the 9 day stochastic has a weighting of 20 where the other two indicators have a weighting of 10. This indicator ranges in value from minus 40 to plus 40. When the filtering binary is above, uh, above the 20 value, we would call that, uh, we would use that as a bullish pattern filter. When it's below minus 20, we'll use that as a bearish pattern filter. Here's an example. This is a chart of Apple. On the last day, you'll see that we have a bullish pattern. And at the same day, 
our JCP, our filtering binary indicator, is at plus 40. That means that we have a confirmation, technically, that we can take the trade. Now I'm going to talk about how all of the indicators, the statistics, the scoring system, the pattern recognition, how everything is incorporated into our expert advisor to give you clarity. Here I've opened up a chart of Apple. Uh, on this chart I've attached the expert advisor which has a homing pigeon today. I've also added the indicators that are included in the JCPR system. Looking at the commentary it's telling us first of all the trend is bearish. It's also telling us the latest support and resistance levels. Now this is important. The support and resistance levels are always going to correspond with the very last bar of data that you've got loaded. If you move the commentary, the support and resistance levels will stay there, but they're always referencing the last bar of data. It's going to tell us, of course, the homing pigeon pattern has occurred and was completed on 6-13-2011. Whenever we have a confirm pattern, we're going to get a scoring system. Let me kind of break down the scoring a little bit for you. Here's a screenshot or a larger view of the scoring system that's used. Remember we talked about candle pattern support and resistance. Well, in this particular case, we're right at a support level, meaning that we're going to get a maximum score of 25 out of 25. Filtered using our filtering indicator is giving us a value of 40. Volume, apparently there was low volume, but our volume indicator is giving us a 0 out of 15. And our statistics, meaning the statistics that we covered at the beginning, gives us a score of 12 out of 15 for this particular pattern. Breakdown would be 0. Based on that information and the statistics, this pattern has a 77% chance of success. In addition, if you want to get more detail on the homing pe pigeon pattern, if you double click on this highlighted icon, it's going to open up a window that's going to tell you a little bit more examples about that particular pattern. In addition, our expert advisor incorporates, using JCPR candle trend, it incorporates a bullish and bearish trend ribbon and it also incorporates and automatically draws on you all of the candle patterns for a particular chart. Now I'd like to talk about the explorations that are included in the Japanese candle pattern recognition add-on for Metastock. Japanese candle pattern recognition add-on includes four explorations or scans that you can use with any variety of, of stocks and futures. The first exploration is called the JCPR reversal pattern. This exploration is designed to identify reversal patterns for you. The second one also identifies reversal patterns, but it also waits until the next bars close to confirm, and we call it the JCPR reversal pattern confirmed. The third exploration is called the JCPR filtered reversal pattern. This identifies reversal patterns that are filtered using a, a 14 period percent D. The final exploration in the Japanese candle pattern recognition scan is called the JCPR filtered reversal pattern confirmed. This identifies filtered reversal patterns that also have a following day close in the appropriate direction. Let's talk a little bit about Greg. Greg Morris is a Senior Vice President, Chief Technical Analysis, and Chairman Investment Committee of Stadium Money Management Incorporated. He currently manages over $6.5 billion in assets in two different mutual funds. We'd like to thank Mr. Morris for his invaluable help in creating this add-on for Metastock. If this is an add-on that would appeal to you because of the statistical scoring methods, the trend identification, the support and resistance, and the candle identification. The software program is available as an add-on for Metastock for $399 as a one-time cost. As always, it comes with our unconditional 30-day money-back guarantee. 
If for any reason you feel dissatisfied with this particular add-on, you can return it for a full refund. Thank you for attending the demo.